thank all the media persons who are present here to cover the our preparation for dengue as you know in the last year also we had number of patients of dengue and we managed them very successfully i can say in smbs we had around 1300 patients of uh, suspected dengue and out of this 693 were positive for dengue and uh, i can share unfortunately we lost only one life that too patient was from um, a up and uh, patient had come to shri mata vaishno devi and uh, child was not fully have not fully recovered and the uh, parents they brought the child there and child well complication there and we tried our level best but we could not save that but barring that all the other patient uh, the patients we could uh, we were able to save similar was the position in the medical college i think dr shah uh, dr jb will tell about the situation in medical college uh, uh, as far as department of medicine is concerned uh, uh, associated with this uh, disease for last uh, i think many years uh, we get uh, many patients uh, i think in last year uh, we had around uh, 800 patients and last last year uh, there were uh, 600 patients means there was rise of 200 patient uh, uh, last year and uh, most of time uh, as far as hospitalization of this uh, patient is concerned we manage the patients on the uh, order basis we select these patients uh, depending on their severity of the disease and only those who have got uh, the warning signs who are sick Uh, we admit uh, uh, those patients uh, in our ward, and uh, we have designated uh, emergency area. One floor we have kept for uh, uh, the, such patients who are sick. And once the patients are stabilized, uh, we sh uh, ship these uh, patients to ward three. And uh, we have got uh, fully, uh, as far as manpower is concerned, as far as logistics is concerned, we are fully prepared to handle uh, uh, this disease. As uh, this disease has uh, started, uh, season has started. and we expect more cases uh, in coming uh, few months so we are fully prepared for uh, uh, for, for this, this disease now as far as smg is concerned we deal with pediatric patients and uh, you know the dengue in pediatric patient is severe because this is said that the second uh, episode secondary infection this is more dangerous and the babies who are less than one year they are because mother must have suffered in the past so we uh, treat them as second infections and but we are fully we geared for that i have uh, we had one pediatric icu many of your media brothers and sisters they had been to smg hospital we have now established new picu uh, that is 14 bedded the old picu that is around 10 bedded we are dedicated for the uh, for the dengue severe cases those who are in shock those who need immediate attention monitoring ventilation so we have kept that and after that step down ward we have kept around 40 beds in our ward uh, in uh, ward 19 those beds are for the after we stabilize these patient who are very serious and the discharge after because we have the discharge criteria which we were following earlier also one day patient should be free of fever and platelet count should be more than 50000 there is no vomiting and child is active then we would discharge those patients so this year also and fortunately we have very good um, support from the department of pathology from uh, microbiology blood transfusion because platelet as far as platelet is concerned there is a uh, wrong notion in the minds of people that we need platelet trans, trans, uh, transfusion we hardly need it even if platelet goes goes down to 10000 then we give platelet otherwise there is no need to give platelet and uh, below 20000 we just observe the patient but at the same time if we need we have fully functional unit 24 hour uh, dr meena uh, well hod uh, blood transfusion she is always there she is heading the department and we have adequate supply of platelet from this forum i like to uh, uh, caution the public that they should take the preventive measures that we should because this is the time temperature between 60 and 30 this is the uh, time for breeding of this aedes uh, aegypti ye this aedes aegypti which is a day time biter this breeds in the fresh water that is water in the tanks water in the broken uh, the spots and um, uh, these parts 
uh, outside flowering pots and all uh, those areas in near the household which is the we say it's a clean water where it, it breeds and it's a daytime biter and so what we have to do Af within the, after seven days, because the life cycle is such life, after uh, seven days, we must change the water. If we are using the water cooler, we must change the water and we must keep our uh, these uh, tanks uh, closed. We should keep the, the uh, lid over the tanks and water. So we should not allow these things to happen. And if the children are going or adults are going outside, we should ask them to wear the full clothes. And use the mosquito repellents. The, uh, this mosquito, this is a very uh, vigorous in biting. They bite at one place, and this usually bites below the knee joints. And it is present in our uh, household near the sofas. So we have to prevent this disease. And public should be not uh, be uh, these uh, alarmed by that near the name of dengue because this is just like another viral fever. What we have. If somebody suffers from this disease, what we have to do is we have to take care of our uh, fever. And very important thing which is to be done is we should use only paracetamol. Don't use others like ibuprofen, aspirin, mephenamic acid because they are the they have the effects on the platelets. So we should use paracetamol and ample uh, quantity of water, and we should ensure that a child should pass urine in six hours. And this fever usually lasts for two to seven days. And fifth to seventh, uh, fourth day onward, this is the patient has a critical period. This is the time when the uh, the patient can go into shock. So we have to monitor those patients there. And there are the warning signs. If warning signs are there, like child is having persistent uh, vomiting, child is having pain of abdomen, child is lethargic, child is well bleeding, and uh, and other child is uh, having. Uh, pain abdomen and liver is palpable, which is a non-technical, uh, the technical term for this. So, these, if they are a warning sign, then and then we have to bring the child to the hospital. Otherwise, this is a self-limiting uh, disease and this goes off uh, on its own without complications. But if these signs are there, then we must not keep the child or the patient at home. They must consult the health facilities and need be these children not to be admitted. So, important thing is that child should pass urine uh, within six hours, an ample quantity of urine. Uh, we should give paracetamol and uh, ample uh, supply of water, even ORS and other uh, things. I thought that we need to have an infection. So, we have two sections. The health department and the medical college. The health department will be able to brief you. I will tell you that we have taken a meeting and took it very seriously. About the management of the NGOs. तो हमने एक वे आउट और एल्गोरिदम बनाया है जिसके हमने पूरे फ्लेक्स के जो बोर्ड्स हैं हर जगह स्क्रीन किए हैं पेशेंट्स के लिए और इवन हमारे स्टाफ के लिए भी कि जो मेडिक जो पेशेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज फीवर से आता है मॉर्निंग आवर्स में कहाँ जाएगा और इवनिंग आवर्स में कहाँ जाएगा तो मॉर्निंग आवर्स में ओपीडीज में जाएगा मेडिकल ओपीडी में और इवनिंग आवर्स में एमरजेंसी में यू पी अटेंड टू प्रॉपर्टी और ये भी बताया कि उसके बाद जो टेस्ट करवाने हैं उसके कहाँ उसको हमने एरिया डेजिग्नेट कर दिया उसको ताकि कन्फ्यूजन ना रहे और टेस्ट की रिपोर्ट छः से आठ घंटे में आ जाती है और नेक्स्ट डे आके हमें रिपोर्ट करेगा कि उसको डेंगू है या नहीं है और अकॉर्डिंगली ट्रीटमेंट दिया जाएगा जो सिक्स पेशेंट है दे विल बी अटेंड टू इमीडिएटली उसमें कोई उसके लिए वार्ड डेजिग्नेट कर दिए हमने जीएमसी में भी और पेडेटिक सेक्शन में भी तो उसमें मेन इशू जो हमारा रहता है प्लेटलेट जब फॉल कर जाती हैं तो बहुत प्रॉब्लम आती है मेन प्रॉब्लम हमारी यही आई है पिछले कुछ सालों में तो इस पर हमने इंश्योर किया है अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स जो मशीन हैं मेरी फैलिसिस मशीन हैं वो ट्वेंटी आवर चले ब्लड बैंक के डॉक्टर मीना यहाँ बैठे आपको बैठक ब्रीज कर पाएंगी कि हमने रोस्टर बना दिया है अपने टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट का डॉक्टर्स का दो दो मशीन है दो भी ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स अवेल हाँ प्लेटलेट्स देने के लिए डोनर्स को एनकरेज किए हैं डोंट एक्सपेक्ट कि मेडिकल कॉलेज प्लेटलेट्स रैंडम यूनिट हम दे सकते हैं लेकिन एक प्रोसीजर कहते हैं एस सिंगल डोनर फैलिसी एक ही डोनर से प्लेटलेट्स निकाली जाती हैं और ट्रांसमिट की जाती हैं उसमें क्वान्टिटी और यूज ज़्यादा होती है और पेशेंट की लाइफ हम ज़्यादा सेव कर सकते हैं और वही डोनर चार पाँच दिन या हफ्ते बाद दोबारा डोनेट कर सकता है तो पब्लिक से रियली गुजारिश है कि कई लोग बाहर चले जाते हैं बड़े बड़े पच्चीस तीस हज़ार एक एक फैसिस पर खर्चते हैं विदाउट रियलाइजिंग ये फैसिलिटी हमारे जम्मू में अवेलेबल है नहीं है तो आपके थ्रू ये मैसेज स्प्रेड करना चाहते हैं पैनिक ना करें अगर ऐसा कभी है तो इमीजिएटली हमारे डेजिग्नेटेड वार्ड्स डॉक्टर्स के मिलकर डेजिग्नेटेड वार्ड में एडमिट हो जाएँ हाँ प्लेटलेट्स हम मोनिटर करते हैं डे बेसिस पर या जैसे भी कोई जो हमारा 
मैथडोलॉजी होती है ट्रैक्टर्स में रखी जाती है और अगर फॉल करती हैं तो मशीन अवेलेबल हैं डोनर्स आपको जरूर अरेंज कीजिए और सोसाइटी को भी बोलिए कि ट्रेटलर्स देने के लिए पीछे ना हटें स्टाफ जो हम इसी तरह हम अपने डिस्ट्रिक्ट की लाइफ सेव करते हैं मेरे बाकी कंसल्टेंट्स भी आपसे इंटरेक्ट करेंगे आप